Good morning, good morning, student. Welcome back again to this special edition of solving the past question from 2001 to 2003. We have already solved the part one and two of the 2000 BEC examination questions. Today, we are moving on to the 2003 and four. And after that, I'll bring you the rest. Now, let's quickly have a look at the part three of the 2001 BEC examination question. I am reading the instruction. Read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follow by shading on your answer sheet. The answer which corresponds with the correct answer. As we heard, we will have to read and understand. So now we have read the instruction. We are going to read the passage for you to be able to know how to solve the questions. I'm reading the passage. As I read, I will explain. Je m'appelle Kofi Mensa. Et j'habite avec mon grand-père à Asanka. My name is Kofi Mensa, and I stay with my grandfather at Asanka. Asanka is the community where they stay. Nous les enfants, nous l'appelons Nana. Chaque samedi, j'accompagne Nana au champ où nous travaillons du matin jusqu'au soir. We the children, we call him Nana. And this Saturday, I accompany, accompany Nana to the farm where we work from morning to evening. Grand-père cultive du maïs, du manioc et des bananes. Grandfather cultivates maize, cassava, and bananas, or plantains. D'habitude, je me lève tôt le matin et je balaye la peau. As usual, I wake up early in the morning and sweep the compound. Ensuite, je vais chercher de l'eau à la rivière. Then, I go to fetch water at the river. Après, je mets du poisson, du sel, des tomates et de l'eau à boire dans un sac. Later, or after that, I put meat, fish, salt, tomatoes, and water in a sack. We continue with the passage. Nana lui prend deux coupes, une ou et un fusil. Nana takes two cutlasses, a hoe and a gun. Souvent nous quittons la maison vers 7 heures du matin. At times we leave the house around say, 7 o'clock a.m. Quand nous arrivons au champ, grand-père me dit d'être près de lui. On upon reaching on farm, grandfather asked me to stay close to him. Il sait qu'il y a des serpents et d'autres animaux sauvages dans la forêt. He knows that there are snakes and other wild animals in the, dans la brousse, in the forest or in the bush. We continue with the passage. À midi, quand nous avons faim, nous arrêtons le travail. À trois pour nous, when we are hungry, we stop the work. Je prends du manioc et je le mets au feu. I take cassava and put it on fire. Nous le mangeons avec du poisson fumé. We eat it with smoke, smoke fish. Après le déjeuner, le vieux se repose et moi, Je chasse les petits oiseaux qui mangent le maïs. After the breakfast, after the lunch, the old man rests, and I chases I chase the small birds that eat the maize. Nous reprenons le travail à trois heures. We go back to work around 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. À 5 heures, nous rentrons à la maison. À 5 p.m., we go back home. J'aime aller au champ tous les samedis parce que Nana me donne beaucoup de choses, beaucoup de bonnes choses quand je travaille dur. I like going to farm on Saturday 
because Nana gives me good things when I work hard. J'aime aussi me promener dans la brousse pour ramasser des fruits. I also like go around the bush to pick fruit. Now we are going to have a look at the question because that's the end of our passage. Keep back down the test. Who is talking in the passage? Grand, grandpa, 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 nana, nana, asanka, asanka, kufimesa, kufimesa. Here, we are talking about someone who is talking in the passage. So the person says, my name is kufimesa, as you can see in the first paragraph. So the correct answer is D, D. Let's go to question 32. Le samedi, l'auteur va, on Saturday, the author goes, or the, the narrator goes, manger des bananes, eat bananas, cultiver la terre, cultiver the soil, visiter son grand-père, visit his grandfather, se promener dans le champ, go for work in the farm. So which one is correct here? They say they will take their home and they go to farm. And when they go to farm, they work for money to do it. So B is to cultivate the air. So B is the correct answer. Number 33. L'auteur se lève de bonne heure à 7 heures à midi à 6 heures du soir. The narrator wakes up early morning, early at 7 a.m., at 12 noon, at 6 p.m. Because he said he gets up early in the morning. So the boner is the correct answer. A is correct. Now let's have a look at the number 34. Qu'est-ce que Kofi fait le matin? What does Kofi do in the morning? A. Il prend son petit déjeuner. He takes his breakfast. B. Il travaille à la maison. He works in their home. C. Il parle avec son grand-père. He talks with his grandfather. D. Il dit bonjour à ses parents. He said good morning to his parents. So which of them is correct here? He said that early in the morning, when he wakes up, he eats. Uh, he helps his mother to sweep the compound. So it means he works in the home. So the correct answer is B. Let's move on to 35, 35. At 7 a.m. Kofi, at 7 a.m. Kofi goes to fetch water, goes to chase birds, take the cattle from the cook in the room, Va au champ, goes to farm. So at 7 a.m., Kofi goes to farm. So the D is correct. Now let's go to number 36. Pourquoi le narrateur doit-il rester auprès du grand-père? Why should the narrator stay close to the grandfather? Because we say in the forest, there are a lot of snakes and wild, other wild animals. So it means there's danger. You should understand that. All right? Okay. Let me read the answers. A, pour travailler, to work. B, parce qu'il y a des dangers dans la forêt. Pour what are you saying? All right. Since you see danger here because of snake and wild animals, we are talking about danger. So the correct answer, as we say, is what? Is B. We can move on, but let me explain the third and fourth. C, parce qu'il aime son grand-père, because he loves his grandfather. D, pour préparer le repas du midi, to cook the lunch. So the correct answer has already been selected. We go to question 37. 37. Qu'est-ce que grand-père fait à midi? What does grandpa do at 12 noon? Il chasse les oiseaux, he chases the birds. Il prépare le déjeuner, he cooks the lunch. Il rentre à la maison, he goes home. Il se repose, he rests. Yeah, it is said. 
So repose, rest is the correct answer. So Janet, you are right. Now we are going to the 38. This one is for Hannah. Hannah, this one is for you. All right. 38. Hannah, I'm ready. Oh, can you read? All right, let me read for you. Kofi chasse les oiseaux parce qu'il. Kofi chases the bed because. What did they I mean, plant there? Yes, what I say, maize. And how do you say maize in French? Maize, maize is correct. Let's read the answer. Kofi chases the bed parce qu'il mange le maize. Because they eat the maize. Parce qu'il font du bruit. Because they make noise. Parce qu'ils mangent les insectes. Because they eat insects. Parce qu'ils volent. Because they fly. In this context, vol means fly. But the other context, it means to steal. So here, fly. So since they eat the maize, Kofi will chase them. So the correct one is A. Now, 39. We are moving on to 39. 39. Nana et Kofi se repose par là. Nana and Kofi rest for pendant deux heures, two hours, trois heures, three hours, quatre heures, four hours, cinq heures, five hours. So which one here is correct? Kofi, Nana and Kofi rest for three hours. Because in the passage, they say they stop rest from four to three. So three hours in interval. Let's go to number 40, the last one. Number 40. Donner un titre à ce texte. Give a title to this passage. A title to this passage. They have suggested some that is for you. Choose the one that fits the passage of the text. Kofi et les oiseaux. Kofi and the birds. Une visite au champ. A visit on farm. Le travail au champ. The work on farm. Un bon samedi. A nice Saturday. Which one is correct? They work on farm. Yes, they go, they, go, they go to work on Saturday and do work. So they work on farm. The correct one is C. All right. This is the end of the part three of the 2001 objective test. We have brought you the, two, the part one and two, and this is the end of the part three, and also the end of the objective test. I entreat you to have a look at our YouTube channel, What is School of Languages? what is school of languages for no videos. Until then, I would like to say very big thank you for watching and be part of this class because we are here to give you explanation on how to solve the BC questions from 2001 to 2020. In our next video, we shall bring you the composition part of the same 2001 questions. Until then, Goodbye, merci et au revoir.